Gustafa. That bishop left him unguarded. To tempt your queen. Listen. Extraordinary effect. Underrated Berlioz, warm man of true passion. Check. But not mate. Not yet. Your middle game competent, your end game poor. Like your father. No spine, no stamina. Under pressure, you cave in. I'm tired, tired. What are you waiting for? Change the tape. Where's the new nurse? Waiting all day. Damned hand. Hurts. Now, the car's meeting her at the station. She's promised to be on the 6.35. Promised to take her word, incompetent, no follow-up. National disease, no follow-up. Yes? She's here. About time, too. Let's have a look at her. Moustache again, I dare say. Sweating armpits. Go easy on her. I'm running out of agencies. Poppin J, she's for me. Remember that. Come in, girl. My uncle doesn't like people to stand too close to him. Oh, what kept you? Waiting all day. Bad start, bad manners. I'm sorry, I needed sleep. My patient died last night. Died on you? Well, you kill him off, do you? Well, he won't get me. Who told you to switch off? Carry on. Louder. I understand you have an injured hand. May I look at it? Tomorrow will do. Name? Maria Marcello. Foreigner. No wonder. Left it to you. You wash regularly, Miss... Um... Yes, Mr. Richmond. I wash regularly. It is necessary in my job. That's all right, then. Mm. Smells good. None of that goat's cheese nonsense, thank God. No moustache. Tell her what she has to know. Nephew. We've met. What? Met? I was inspected this morning. Uh, I thought you'd like me to interview Miss Marcello personally, Uncle. Don't fancy your taste in women. I'll show you to your room. Louder, louder, I can't hear. Difficult case. Difficult patient. But I do hope you'll stay. I'm in no hurry. Your chef is good. Ex Savoy. I'll have something sent up. Thank you. The nurse's room. It always is the nurse's room. I'm afraid it's the best we can manage. When I've eaten, I'll take another look at the patient. Uh, you heard what my uncle said. Tomorrow will do. You know, your photograph doesn't do you justice. My photograph? Is that important? Appearances are very important. In a nurse. I had to pick carefully. You see, there have been mistakes in the past. But I'm sure we've made no mistake this time. Oh, ten minutes at the agency. You don't know me. You're wrong there, Maria. I know quite a bit about you. Your background, your past. My private life has nothing to do with you, Mr. Richmond. My uncle's not an easy man to handle. He's used to getting what he wants. Exactly what he wants. No, it requires tact and a great deal of patience. I'm sure you have the necessary qualifications to... I'm a trained nurse, and I'm used to difficult patients. That's all you need to know about me. Good night, Mr. Richmond. I hope you're very comfortable, Maria. Living at Foxhurst does have its points. Really? You know, you don't look like a nurse. I assure you I am. But I doubt if it's a nurse you require. I can assure you we do. Good night. Good night.
comfortable than eating in your room, eh, Miss... Uh... More formal, certainly, Mr. Richmond. You disapprove of formality, Miss uh, Marcello? Or do you object to my servants, perhaps? No, why I use them, tell you. They serve. Hundreds of years of waiting on the white man. In their blood service. Thing of the past for us, everybody's a master. No sense of duty anymore, no respect. A Negro may no longer know his place here or in America. But in Africa, you can still find some who do. Eh, hey, Thomas? Hmm. A fine, primitive creature, Thomas. No aspirations, no education, but he knows what's what, don't you, boy? As you see, Miss Marcello, my uncle has solved the servant problem in his own inimitable manner. He treats his servants like dogs, and his dogs like servants. Yes, just look at him, Miss Marcello. Observe those lily-white hands, if you please. Good for nothing, except driving jaguars and seducing women. Don't you wish you could still do either, Uncle? Laugh, go on, like your father, laughing boy. Yeah, you live like him, die like him, shuffling for shillings. Mr. Richmond, I don't think you need my services any longer. Your hand is quite healed. You'll allow me to decide that, Miss Marcello. You leave when I tell you. But you don't really need me. I'd prefer to go somewhere where I could be useful. Some dreary suburban accouchement, I suppose. Don't you think it might be more profitable looking after me? I get paid the same rate by everybody. You're a hypocrite, Miss Marcello. You know damn well I can pay you ten times more than anyone else. I only require my normal rate, if you don't mind. I will see about that. You'll stay. Understand, since my wife died, 20 years ago, I seem to suffer from a lack, lack of feminine company, of agreeable feminine company, that is. I shouldn't have thought it would be difficult for a man like you, Mr. Richard. To find someone? Really? How do you suppose a man like me provides himself with a, with agreeable feminine company? Sends money to a mail order service? Has someone fished out of the typing pool for me? Not easy. One has to be careful. But I'm very pleased with you, Miss Marcello. Very pleased indeed. I'm so glad. The dinner was excellent. Good night. That's right. You go, Miss Marcello, up to your room. And tomorrow, burn that uniform. Make yourself look like a woman. Nice and desirable. Rustle, crackle and swish. You hear? Then it's gone, it's gone. All over and done with. But it isn't quite done with. Is it, Uncle? 